Hello Harvest Youth Ministry to our students, our parents, and our teachers. I want to provide some important news about our reopening for the next four weeks for SNF. We will be reopening SNF for the next four weeks starting next week on July 25th. And we will meet on July 25th, August 1st, August 8th, and August 15th in person in the Harvest Worship Room from 5.30 to about 8 o'clock, 8.30 p.m. We want to allow this time for us to meet in person before schools for our Orange County and our Seminole County Public Schools reopen in the mid and end of August. Um, this is a pretty difficult decision to come to, but we believe as staff that it is the right choice to make in the weeks going ahead, and I want to provide several reasons why we believe that this is feasible for us in this time, even with the cases spiking in Florida. I think there are a lot of pros and a lot of cons to reopening SNF instead of continuing virtually for these next four weeks. So I want to weigh both options and give you my advice and my opinion. Certainly, we've seen a huge and immense uptick in cases in Florida, in Orlando, in Orange and Seminole counties in the past few weeks, which causes and brings in um, reasonable concern about our own well-being and safety especially when it comes to meeting in person at church. And I know with looming on the horizon, we have to make decisions about sending our children or sending ourselves to school when it opens in August. Um, there are a lot of questions and concerns that arise. Uh, my advice is that we continue to give one another grace and patience and understand that every, I think every context and every case is different for each family. Uh, I know every person prays and has wisdom involved in their decision-making process. So I ask that you extend the same hand of grace uh, to me and to our staff as we make this decision to move forward with SNF. Um, there hasn't been a day since I started last January that I have not been praying and thinking about our youth ministry and God has led me to this place where I believe that this is the right foot going forward in the weeks ahead. And so I want to provide several reasons why we're moving ahead with in-person SNF for the next four weeks at least. So first, um, we have already decided, our Sarah Jang is our, our small group coordinator and conferring with her, we decided that we're gonna put SNF small groups on a hiatus, so on a break, uh, in the end of July and beginning of August until the middle of, of August so that we can reset our ministries. That allows us to transition out our SNF small group leaders who are graduating, uh, Sulin and Sarah, but also for us to allow new ministry leaders to come in. We also have to reconfigure small groups. So given that we already had planned that, um, we were planning on the next few SNFs virtually to be very low key uh, without much of a huge ministry commitment from our, our student leaders. So because of that, we already planned our senior banquet and our sixth grade welcoming party in this four week span. So, um, my point is that we won't have too much of a difference um, whether we did virtual or in-person because we were trying to plan of in-person celebrations for those two big events anyway. Second, um, as adults, if you are an adult, I think virtual worship and community, worshiping community growth in our faith is not as difficult in this quarantine as it has been for youth students. And so I just appeal to us to understand their shoes uh, I think our spiritual walk as adults is less dependent on community than theirs is. Our faith has matured to a point where we don't need someone to hold our hand, to teach us how to read the Bible, to pray, to teach us about Old or New Testament characters in Sunday school class. But the high school and middle school students do. They do need to do so, and they rely on community in a much more dependent way. It's not a bad thing, but that's the way our faith grows. And so I just hope that we can understand that I think our students might need an in-person meeting in a four-week span at least to meet so they can have a sense of embodiment. Um, and that leads us to our next third point, which is rejuvenation. My prayer is that these next four weeks is a time where we can have special times of refreshment and excitement and rejuvenation for our students, our teachers, especially for me, uh, as we prepare to go back into the hurricane of COVID in the fall. You see, our plan, we are planning out a whole year of virtual youth ministry. It's not easy. It really isn't. And it, it really bums me out. I want to meet in person. But especially when school starts, 
Uh, we may see uh, a, another surge in cases we don't know. Until there's a vaccine and possible treatment out, um, we want to evaluate after four weeks how the cases go in August. So we will close back down SNF, reevaluate if it's safe to continue meeting in-person SNF, we will do so. But until then, we want to be um, observant of our context and our situation. Um, I believe that this precious gap of four weeks can be a time where we can really rejuvenate and encourage our student leaders especially. Fourth, uh, I have confidence that we can provide and proffer a very safe environment. I cannot guarantee that we will have a COVID-proof environment, but what I can guarantee is that we will provide the same level of stringency and strictness and adherence to the rules that we provide for Harvest Sunday service, which includes several things which I want to make clear. First, I want to make it very clear for our students and our, our parents, especially for those of us who are high school students, that you are, we ask if you come to SNF in the next four weeks that you quarantine very well without unnecessarily going out to parties, outings, hangouts, the beach with friends, um, that you do not place yourself in very large gatherings, that you do not go out unnecessarily to friends' houses, um, but that you kind of restrain yourself for the sake of others if you wish to come to SNF. So SNF is not going to be for everyone. But for those who have been respectful, considerate, uh, and conscientious about other people's um, situations by adhering to social distancing within the next week and, and next few, as long as SNF reopens uh, for these four weeks, we are going to require mask wearing, and that will be on when we sing, when we interact, um, when we talk to each other. We're going to require social distancing. The same setup of church of of our seating at church will be the same. Um, we will have hand, sanitiz hand, hand sanitization on the way in with contactless temperature checks prior to entering and cleaning of our worship room before and after service. We're not going to have any games that involve running. Instead, we'll play games like Jeopardy or Cahoots from our seats that we can interact on our phones. Um, we won't have any food for dinner. So one thing that I'd advise for us to do is to probably eat an early dinner or a very late dinner. So just plan around that schedule because from 5.30 to 8, we won't be providing food um, unless for a banquet, um, it's pre-packaged food like Chick-fil-A or something. Um, so that's the, that's the safety that we can promise. We're not going to allow students to run around, play tag, touch each other, uh, even giving high fives or hugs. We're going to refrain from doing so because um, we want to sacrifice our preferences for the sake of other people's well-being. Number five, uh, I have confidence that we can also provide equal virtual quality. So Pastor Dio this past Wednesday, he mentioned to me that there should be three factors that qualify our reopening. One, something that's offered vo virtually that's just as good, like a live stream. Two, uh, people who want to be there and can be there, so we need to hear back from your parents um, if you are going to send your children. And three, a setting that is safe. Um, so we will be live streaming our SNFs for the next four weeks for those who are not able to make it. That will probably be on Facebook slash YouTube. More information will be given this week. And since we won't be having small groups for these next four weeks, um, we won't have SNF small group FOMO. Sixth, um, I'm not anywhere near the best youth director. Um, I'm still trying to learn the ropes. But I am confident that God has ordained me for this role in the middle of our 2020 coronavirus pandemic for such a time as this. Um, I don't claim that I know what's best for our youth ministry, but I know that God has led me to this decision, has given me peace about it, and I believe and I'm standing firm in moving this direction with the position that God has anointed me with. Um, so I want to say I'm not saying this out of arrogance, but I'm saying this out of humility, just knowing that I have been chosen by God for this role, and I believe that God has spoken to our, our team and our staff that this is the way we should go at least for the next four weeks. Um, and lastly, I just think I want to encourage us um, to, to choose to, yeah, whatever way that we choose, whether we choose to worship at home or worship at church in service, um, we want to adhere to that mantra and model that we've been adhering to this whole past quarantine that there's nothing, no superior way of worshiping 
So if you are hoping to stay at home during this time, if you're not comfortable with coming out, then we hope and pray that you can give grace to those who want to come out and to um, not bash anyone for being a COVID idiot um, or for being too reckless and, and, and in that way. And if we are on the flip side, if you are coming out, that we don't extend judgment to those who are choosing to stay at home uh, because we don't know their condition. We don't know that they might be living with someone who is immunocompromised or who is elderly. Um, they may need to sacrifice being with people so that they can see their grandparents or their fathers um, who are nearby. So we ask that for those of us who come to SNF, that we don't extend um, judgment that these people are fearful, that they are um, too paranoid, but rather for all of us to understand that the decisions that we make about coming or not coming for the next four weeks is extended with grace, um, with unity, and peace. So that's uh, what I want us to offer. The last thing that will be, has been announced for several times is we are also extending, um, and we have already started, these high school guys and high school girls small group slash prayer group slash Bible studies virtually every Friday. And so K, uh, Special K and Sarah Jang are leading this girls group. If you, if you want more information, you can ask them. They're, it's for rising ninth graders to 12th grade. And for me, I'm leading our guys high school group. We're going through the book of James every Friday night from 8.30 to 9.30 p.m. And we play games for a long time. And it's open to all middle school guys and all high school guys. So this is another way that you can be involved in hearing the word. Also, um, we will start our Sunday school classes August 23rd on that Sunday. Likely it will be virtual for most of fall unless anything drastic changes. So it's a lot of information, there's a lot of chaos, and I hope that this can provide a very clear picture of where we are going for the next four weeks with SNF and with our youth ministry. Um, I believe that this is a powerful way that we can have a praise and prayer night this upcoming on July 25th with senior banquet on August 1st that we can send off our seniors. Um, August 8th we'll have Kong Shi, who's one of our teachers, to speak, most likely and share an awesome sermon and message. And on August 15th, that will be our sixth grade welcoming party as we welcome in seven new sixth graders to our youth ministry. So thank you. Uh, if you have any questions, my information is provided below if you want to contact me. Um, thank you for your grace, for your patience, and we hope to see you virtually at SNF or in person at SNF for the next four weeks.